Hey, this video is a walk around of our shop mobile welding rig and the tools and equipment we carry. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a like. All right, here it comes. You know, in today's environment, at least for our shop, it's really not worth building a dedicated welding rig truck and then having it tied up as being used as only that. So, our shop built a, a little mobile welding rig trailer. And at the end of the video, we have pictures of that build and putting it together, if you care to check that out. Okay, starting out, well, the 250 uh, GTX. Nice, nice little welder. And you know what they say, red outside, blue inside. And you'll notice this little box. Now I built this, ran the leads to this, and uh, put Twistmate or DINs connectors in it. That way we don't have to have our cables, work cables and leads on the outside where uh, somebody might like them more than we do. And pretty much everything is uh, locked down, cinched down, or either in the job boxes. Okay, let's get around this thing. Hey, and you'll notice that the job box was sunk down into the trailer, and that's really handy. Otherwise, you got to climb up on the trailer. You know, that's just just not uh, what I want to do at this age anymore. So, we just stand at the very back, open the box. All the tools are right there. Don't have to bend over. Works out great. And now, here's a shot of our... Uh, stand that we built and now this is a lockable stand that rod goes all the way through and you can see the lock there and that houses our adjustable uh, jack stands and swinging around shot of our welding gas bottles we've got oxygen acetylene and one welding gas and this is the front job box and let's show you the underside of the trailer. Yeah, I probably overbuilt this for uh, just a welding trailer, but <laughs> this is what I do. And in the front box, that's where we carry our MIG welding supplies, a uh, MIG welder, it's a little miller. 211 40 pounds really nice to go out on uh, jobs really light and our aluminum spool gun now moving to the back job box we put everything in buckets and that makes it so handy you just pull a bucket out set it on the ground then you can go through get what you need to get get to work Okay, let's get to some of the stuff laid out and you can see what we carry. Now, this is the uh, tool tray out of the back job box. And a level, a little level and tape measure, strikers. It's all pretty straightforward. Extra torch, backup torch, assembly. And tips. All-purpose wire. Can't leave home without that. Spud wrenches. Really like spud wrenches. A little torpedo level. Saws all blades and some markers. Soapstone and now the red ones. They're Milwaukee markers and man, those things work the best of anything. They'll mark on almost any surface. It can be stupidly dirty, but it'll mark through uh, mildly dirty stuff. Check them out. Okay, gloves. The work gloves, backup gloves. Then a couple of uh, throwaways. Cap, cheaters. And oxyacetylene glasses. All right, 
clamp bucket. Pipe clamp. That style of C clamp. Then the fixed style, a couple of different sizes of C clamps. A pair of vice grips. Triangle. Some different size rod. Another spud wrench. <laughs> that thing's crazy, man. I got that at Tractor Supply. And a couple of hammers. Chipping hammer and a little persuader there. I got this sawed off from Harbor Freight about seven or eight years ago. And man, that thing will not quit. A grinder. And some extras. So flap wheels and then just uh, regular grinding wheels. And the oxygen acetylene bucket. Here we've got our hose nicely wrapped up. That's our uh, main vintage Victor torch. And you can see the regulators down there at the bottom. And our welding lead buckets. Yes, yeah, like I said, these just uh, plug right in, or the twist mate connections with the, uh, or DENS connection, whichever you prefer to call it. <clears throat> And here's our Stinger V bucket. Really like that thing. And our cleanup bucket. You got to have a cleanup bucket, man. Don't leave uh, stuff laying in a work site. Okay, now this is out of the front job box. Now we're uh, aluminum ready. We can hook this little spool, Mate 150 up to the uh, Miller 211 here we can either do MIG or run it through the spool gun couple of extra jackets regulator lead and consumables and that little 211 will do either uh, 110 or 220 now these are pretty cool i got these at home depot these are uh folding table saws and just pulled out the levels and this is uh my long bar here And we'll give you a shot of those folding stands here in a little bit. Now, this is everything laid out. It's like, wow. I can't believe all this stuff fits in there. But when it's all organized and everything in its place, it does. Better work light. Hey, there's a shot of that uh, folding work stand. Fixed lens, auto, and a uh, little handheld. And we've already shown you what's in these buckets. Here they are all lined up. Extra Steiner jacket. This little spool mate. Yeah, that little 211 is a really, really nice welder. And it's only 40 pounds, like I mentioned. And you'll also notice on the backside of the uh, 
welding trailer there's a little stand and it has two two by fours now we can uh use those two by fours put those across those folding uh work horses and uh man make a little table and those are four foot collapsible jack stands and you know what you say 250 GTX yeah that's for what we do that's a yeah that's a beast there it is all right this is the uh, picture collage of the trailer build hey you can go to our video page and I think we're up to almost a hundred videos now check out all our other videos we've got quite a bit over welding uh, pretty wide range we do auto restoration classic cars classic motorcycles but the other half of the business we do mobile welding um, just a welding in general welding shop and fabrication as always hey thanks for watching